Bye, ladies. We are live. We're going to kind of wait to get started until everybody joins us. We're a few minutes early tonight. Hi, Lisa. All right, let's see if I can get this pulled up. Yeah. So I can see comments here. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me okay? Hi, Vanessa. Can you hear me? Very good. I'm going to turn down the volume on my phone. Can you still hear me? Wonderful. All right. All right, let's just kind of wait until everybody gets here and, and we can get started with our live chat tonight. All right, let's just kind of wait until everybody gets here and, and we can get started with our live chat tonight. I think I need to turn down my volume here. How about that? That should be a little better. So we won't hear an echo. I'm new to all this live stuff, so I'm still learning. It has been a day. You guys doing okay today? Very good. I don't know how many has been to, hey Gail, how are you doing? I don't know how many has been to a retreat before, but retreats are so much fun. There you are, all right, good deal. I'm glad you can see me, very good, okay. So I don't know how many is, hey Mitzi, I miss seeing you. I don't know how many's been to a retreat before, but retreats are so much fun. Um, Linda McGee, he's trying to join in here. I've asked Linda and Lisa and Bonnie, all of them, to join in with me tonight so we can try to answer some questions for you guys that you might have. Um, Linda, hopefully you can, I can't use my phone because I'm using it to video, so hopefully you can get logged on. But if you've never been to a retreat, a retreat is just like a big girl slumber party. That's the best way I can describe a, a retreat. And if you love those and being around ladies, you're going to love the sewing retreat. And if you love to sew, of course, sewing's one of my favorite things to do. So sewing retreat is just heaven. Hey, Bonnie. So, sewing retreat is just heaven. We have so much fun. I started uh, doing retreats, oh gosh, probably about 15 years ago. And I went to my very first retreat and that's actually where I met my very best friend is at a sewing retreat. I would have never met her otherwise. But um, it started going and, and just taking my sewing machine and I learned so many things from, from the ladies there because you meet ladies from all over. So I learned, um, I learned things that I would never learn in class just by having friends that would, hey Janet, that would um, teach me things that uh, you know I couldn't learn in class and, and I got to know people and it was just so much fun that I became hooked on it. Then after I started the sewing show and started teaching, I decided that, that I wanted to try to, um, to have a retreat. So about four or five years ago, I started having some retreats. Um, I started small. I started with about 10 people, and then we did you know 15, and then I went up to 20. And then last year, we had 24 people at our last retreat, and we had so much fun. We just had a blast there, and I'll show you some of the things that we've done in the previous retreats. But this year, I decided that I was going to make it bigger and better. I wanted to be able to include lots of people I wanted to be able to um, have a bigger space that we could uh, allow more people to come, more ways that uh, we could reach people and teach them and uh, 
more ways that people could, could kind of stretch it out because last year we were a little cramped. So this year we won't have any trouble with that. Um, we've got three rooms dedicated at the Crown Plaza in Addison, Texas. That's where the social escape will be this year. Now Addison is just a suburb of Dallas. It's probably about 25 minutes from the DFW airport. So it's not a bad drive at all. Um, from the airport, uh, it's if you live in in um, you know in Texas, it, it wouldn't be a bad drive for you. If you live in Oklahoma, it's pretty close in Louisiana. Now, if you're flying in, we'd love to have you join us too. If you're flying in, we'd like you to to email any of us. Um, my email is so Michelle. The event is close to you, yes. My my uh, email is so michelle at outlook.com, and you can email me. We're going to try to get a head count of those that would like to fly in for several reasons. One of the things that we're going to look for is, is we're going to try to find a dealer that will loan us some machines, maybe even in, allow us to rent machines or, or loan us whichever one we can, can do for those that want to fly in. And then secondly, we want to um, maybe try to get a shuttle so we can pick you up from the airport and take you back to the airport. There's Linda. Take you back to the airport on Sunday. So if, if you're going to uh, want to come and, and you're not going to live near us and going to have to fly, then, then please let us know. Just send me an email and let me know so I can try to set that up. We'll try to accommodate you any way that we can. We want everybody to, to be able to enjoy this. What, what I've done at previous retreats, for the first night, it's Thursday. Thursday is usually a travel day for us. This one won't be any different now. It'll be a travel day, but we're going to start a little earlier than what we've done in the past. We're going to start checking in about noon. So you have from noon until 3, what I think is the time that I've allotted. Hey, Bonnie. Um, noon until 3 to check in and, and kind of get your sewing nest all situated. And then we'll have a meet and greet um, with all the teachers and, and all, everyone there. Um, and have some, some hors d'oeuvres on Thursday. And Thursday afternoon about 4.30 to 6.30, I think is what I've planned. And then, yes, wonderful. Then we're going to do some... Um, a towel swap. Oh gosh, if you've never done a towel swap, towel swaps are so much fun. Well, I like to do this at my Christmas parties and the ladies just seem to have a good time. So any of you ladies that, that have, have been to my Christmas party, you'll have to chime in and tell them how much fun it is. But everybody brings a towel and this year I've not had a theme. You can just bring a towel of, of anything that you want to embroider, embellished any way that you want to. Um, if you want to use your cutter and, and want to put some vinyl on there, if you want to use the, the glitter flex, you're welcome to do that. Whatever you want to put on there and decorate it, it's just kind of a way to, it's, it's going to be a kitchen towel. I should tell you that it's going to be a hand towel that you'd use in the kitchen or the bathroom. And it's just a way to, um, hey Brenda, it's just a way to, to show off your talents. Um, and then what you will do is, is we'll, we'll have them concealed and we'll... Uh, Yes, the towel swap is fun, Mitzi. We have a good time doing it. Um, we'll have them concealed, and then we'll draw numbers, and we'll play the Chinese uh, Christmas, or the Chinese bingo game, I think is what it's called. And we'll um, swap the towels. So some of the ladies, you, I think you only get to swap like three times, and so the ladies will fight over them, and, and it's just so much fun to watch them do that and, and laugh. And it's fun to see... Um, yeah, it is fun to see this shot I cut loose. You're right about that. It's, it's a good icebreaker, and, and you just have a good time. So we'll do that. Then after that, we'll have a um, short um, class. We're, we're going to do some sort of cute in the hoop. Uh, several of the things that are on my website of what I've done in previous retreats for the in the hoop. Um, I think one of them that I did was uh, a little... Um, not a name tag, but a little luggage tag that we did one year with the sewing machine on. That was a lot of fun. Then last year, I think I did the keychain um, with vinyl, and that was kind of fun too with um, some faux leather. We, we did that one year. We've just, we've just done some different projects, and if you like any of my projects, you'll love what I come up with because it's all the same things. I try to come up with something that's fun, but it's easy to do too, and just to kind of get everybody started. Then um, we'll have sewing time. So you'll be able to sew and, and do whatever you want in the evenings um, after we get done. I think we might even have some games planned for um, Thursday night. I'm not sure. I'll have to check uh, on our schedule. But the fun will really begin on, on Friday morning. Friday morning, breakfast I think is going to start early. 
we're gonna get up after breakfast and, and you'll be able to do some shopping if you want to because there'll be a few vendors there. All of us will have our booths there and all of our goodies, um, but you'll be able to shop a little bit. And then we're gonna start with the classes. We are gonna have, yes, there will be food there, Bonnie. Yes, we're gonna eat breakfast. We are providing all of the food. So let me back up a little bit. I guess I should tell you that with your registration, it, everything's going to be included. All of the kits are included. All of the food's included. The only thing that you'll need to bring is your sewing machine, and you'll need to have a sewing machine and an embroidery machine because all of us will be doing um, some projects with, with each one. And I'll go over the projects in just a few minutes. But you'll need to bring that. You'll need to bring some comfy clothes and just your eagerness to learn. We're just gonna have a good time. We're gonna get away from, from it all, from the hustle and bustle of life. And, and who doesn't need that? Who doesn't need to get away? Whether you're a stay-at-home mom or retired mom or you work outside the home, you all need to get away. It's just fun. I think it replenishes you, it refreshes you. I know I'm a better person when I come back from a retreat. So we're gonna have a good time doing that. But there will be food. We're gonna feed you, take good care of you. The Crown Plaza is where we'll be and, and uh, they've promised me nothing but good food there. And, I think we'll be treated like queens there. But anyways, back to the projects. So one thing that um, we'll be doing, hey Beverly, one thing that, that we'll be doing is, is um, Bonnie. She's teaching a wonderful project um, using her glitter flex. So we'll just start with you, Bonnie, since I see your name right up there. Bonnie loves to work with the glitter flex. Now, if you know of, of Bonnie from So Inspired by Bonnie and all the cute um, embroidery designs that she digitizes, all of her little uh, pals, they're just adorable. And she'll be teaching something using her Glitter Flex. She's gonna have the kits for you so you won't have to bring anything. We may have you bring some thread. That may be all that we ask for. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, I'm getting over a cold. Yes, that sparkle that pops. We all love glitter. What woman does not love glitter? I love glitter. Anything that shines, I'm there. I love it. But anyway, so that, that's what Bonnie will come up with something cute, and she's going to show you, too, how to cut it out using your cutter. Now, if you don't have a cutter, that's no big deal because Bonnie's going to have all the kits cut out for you. So we're going to make this just as pain-free as possible and as simple as possible. We want everyone to go home with a finished project, not only in Bonnie's class, but in all of our classes. So we're going to do that. Um, all the kits will be pre-cut, and, and uh, that'll be lots of fun. So we'll do something. You'll make a list. All right, sounds good, Bonnie. Um, so we're going to uh, do that in Bonnie's class, something fun with the cutter. She'll show you how to use a glitter pl uh, flex. Yep, it'll be easy peasy, you're right. Everything's gonna be easy there. We're gonna make it so easy that uh, you guys are just gonna wanna make lots of these projects. And of course, there'll be written instructions too, so you can go home and do that. Then we've also got Linda McGeehee. Now, if you've ever wondered what to do with all those uh, sewing feet that come with your machine, and we all have those, you know, um, all of these fancy machines that we get and, and we don't use them enough, but we could use them and, and, and maybe make a better seamstress, you know. So Linda is just wonderful with showing us how to, uh, okay, how to use um, those feet. So she's going to show us how to, to uh, maybe couch. I don't know. She's got lots of things planned. She's going to teach a really cute project and I've got notes here, so you're going to have to bear with me while I look at my notes. So Linda's going to do something that's called the, um, it's a cell phone carrier. You can put your credit card in there and your ID and maybe a, a few dollars, she says. And she's going to be using it with radio frequency identification cloth. It's going to have a couple of zipper pockets in there. Not to worry, Linda's going to show you how to use those zippers and how to install them. Linda has got more knowledge in, in, in her little pinky about sewing than I'll ever have. She is wonderful. Um, she's entertaining. You'll just have a good time with her. She's a hoot. Um, then, of course, we've got the, the guru, uh, Lisa. Lisa Shaw. Oh, my goodness. If you've ever taken a class from Lisa, Lisa is fantastic. She knows more about uh, software. All of these teachers are just, just wonderful. But she knows more about software than, than any person that I know as far as digitizing software. She's fantastic. So she is going to teach you how to, to use um, software to incorporate some applicate. 
So Bonnie's gonna show you how to work with the applique and the glitter flex, and then Lisa's gonna show you how to actually use it in your software. Now, if you don't have the Embrilliant software, that's what normally Lisa normally teaches, don't worry about that, because Lisa's gonna show you how to incorporate this into your own software. So she's probably not gonna teach you other software, but what she'll do is she'll show you ex how to, to um, enlarge designs, how to use them with the uh, glitter flex that Bonnie's gonna do. Um, she's gonna show you how to use the vinyl. So she's gonna kind of give you um, some some ideas on, on maybe how to mirror image the designs to use with your cutter. Um, yeah, Lisa, was you went on a cruise with her, fantastic. I've never been on a cruise with her or sewing cruise, but I wanna do that, that would be wonderful. So Lisa's gonna show you how to do that and she is fantastic, she's got so much knowledge. And she's gonna have some uh, a Q and A too that she'll be able to take at the end of the class or that you'll be able to, to ask at the end of the class. And so if you have any questions about, you know, just software in general, I'm sure Lisa will know. Lisa knows everything. But Bonnie's class then, you'll go to her and she'll show you how to incorporate that into a project. So it's going to be lots of fun. Bonnie's Glitter Flex, so you can check it out on her site at So Inspired by Bonnie. And, and uh, she's got some beautiful colors and, and she's going to have a wonderful kit already cut out for you. Um, let's see, what else am I missing here, girl? Glitter Flex. People, I saw a question, what is Glitter Flex? Bonnie could probably explain that better than I can. Um, glitter flex, Bonnie. Glitter flex is uh, a heat transfer. Is that right? Um, you put it on with heat. I, I don't know. I can't speak intelligently about what glitter flex is really other than I know it's wonderful and it's sparkly and you can iron it on and use it as an applique. So <laughs> Bonnie could probably tell you more about that than I can. But um, if you, instead of using fabric, it is a heat transfer. There you go. I did have it right. A heat transfer vinyl. All right, Michelle. Thumbs up for me. Woohoo! I did have that right. Anyways, it's fun to work with, and, and you don't have to use your scissors. You can just kind of peel it off. Um, I've, I've uh, seen Bonnie teach at Applique Getaway, and, and it's a really fun class, too. It's a fun project uh, or fun fun. Um, type of, of fabric, type of vinyl, type of uh, material to work with. And Bonnie, I even heard mention that she might even be working with cork. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to try to sweet talk her. It says the commercial guys started it on clothes, but it can be used with or without embroidery. Very good. All right. There you go. So if you want to know about that, Bonnie's going to show you all about it. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. I know um, a lot of people ask about... Um, uh, where it's gonna be, the Crown Plaza, we talked about that. It is $113 a night at the Crown Plaza, and you'll need to call them directly and, and uh, go ahead and make your reservations there, and you'll be able to do that starting tomorrow. They tell me they're gonna have the link ready and they're gonna you're gonna be able to call and, and use the name Social Escape and make your reservations there. Now, you can, you can say, Thanks, Linda. You can say uh, up to four a room per room. So that 113, hey, my math's bad, but you know you're probably looking at what about thirty dollars a night, a little less than that. So you could stay up to four per room. That's fantastic. And come, and we're going to feed you. We're going to give you all your kits. You're going to have a great time. It's just a heck of a deal. So. Um, you can call and make the reservation, and, and I will put a link on there with the phone number, but just don't call until tomorrow, okay? You're looking forward to trying out the Glitter Flex. Yep, Cork's fun. I've never worked with Cork. I'm, I'm kind of excited about doing that, too. Maybe I'll sneak in and take Bonnie's class, too, you know? All right, so we also want to make a list of anyone who wants a roommate. If you want to come, uh, it's Social Escape. Not Retreat, it's Social Escape, Lisa. How many projects are we going to teach? Good. Hey, Judy. Good question. Um, if, but let me get back to the roommate and then we'll go back to that. If, if you want a roommate, um, you want to come and, and uh, you don't know of anyone that, that wants to come with you, can't, can't talk your friends into coming but want a roommate, we'll start a list of that and just email me and, and we'll put your name out there and we'll try to get you a roommate. Um, let's see. As far as projects go, how many projects total are we going to do? Well, Linda's going to do a project, Bonnie's going to do a project, I'm going to do a project, and I'll be teaching in the hoop project, and then Lisa's going to do something with vinyl. Now, now Lisa doesn't do a whole lot of hands-on. Lisa mostly teaches software, 
but I heard that she's gonna do something with vinyl and give us a little small project that, that we can use and, and show you tips and tricks for ironing on vinyl and, and how to work with it. So I guess we'll say five then, Does that sound about right? And we may even have some surprise classes in there, I don't know. Our people bring sewing machines and embroidery machines. Sherlyn, we have to bring both because you're gonna need both. Bring your feet for your uh, sewing machine too. If you're flying in, Sherilyn, then if you missed it earlier, I said that if you're flying in, we may be able to have um, some machine rentals. I'm trying to work with a local dealer, local brother or Janome dealer to, to get that all set up. Uh, there's a challenge for each of the teachers. It could be really fun. You know, I, I have a, one of my friends is, is working on the games because we're going to play games at night. And so she, I think she's going to come up with something fun for us teachers to do. And so that ought to be a hoot too. That That's news to all of my teachers. They don't know that just yet. So Bonnie, you could use a combo machine. If you don't have just a separate machine, if you have just an embroidery machine, machine, you'll need to, to bring both. But yes, you could. Definitely could use a combo machine, please. M combo machine will work. Yes, Mitzi. Yes, ma'am. And all of the designs will be for the five by seven hoop. So if you um, if you want to bring your bigger hoop, you generally can. But each of the designs that we do will be a minimum of five by seven. So everybody generally has a five by seven hoop. I know, what a challenge. I know, I haven't told you girls about that yet, so that's kind of a shocker. We're gonna have a good time. Have a good time doing that. But anyways, you were asking me about some of the projects. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I gotta get a drink here. I've got my cough drops ready. My husband told me to open up some cough drops, so I got extra cough drops here. But one of the projects that we've taught in the past, this was um, a project that I taught last year, and it's the double duty screen tote bag. I taught that, and that was a lot of fun. Um, just showed you how to work with screen, so you guys know that I love that. What if our embroidery machine is huge? Well, you know, they probably all are, and I'm sure they're heavy, but if we can get to the hotel, then we're going to have somebody help you carry it in. I'm going to try to get some bellmen there, too. One of the other things that I taught at a previous retreat was this cute kitchen quilt. Let's see if I can get back far enough where you can see that. It says, I'm not scared of dishes. And that was a lot of fun. And it's on my website too. It's just a, a towel and we embroidered on it. And that was, that was a lot of fun. And everybody finished this in class. So we do these classes in three hours. So everybody walks away with the finished project. I'm real big on that. If you've ever taken any of my classes, I'm real big on, um, Finished projects, no one wants another UFO. So all of mine, that's one of the requirements on the teachers that we have to have a finished project. What other questions do we have? This is just opening up to you guys. That's why we're doing this, just so we can answer any questions you might have. Thanks, Lisa. Let's see what else we can talk about here. Um, well, I can't think of anything else right now. I can't believe I'm at a loss for words. My mother wouldn't know what to think. Me at a loss for words. Um, anybody else have any, any questions? We talked about um, where the retreat's gonna be. Okay, you came in late. What about the food? Cindy, the food will all be provided. We're providing all the meals. So once you get there Thursday, you might wanna eat some breakfast Thursday or maybe uh, a light lunch. Um, we're going to provide, uh, how can we step on so? We're going to provide all the meals starting um, really Friday morning. Thursday evening, we'll have some light hors d'oeuvres. How late can we stay up and sew? Well, the sewing room will be open about 6.30 in the morning, but I am going to close it at midnight. And thanks, Beverly. I am going to close the, the um, rooms at midnight now. And you'll just leave all of your machines and everything in there so you won't have any trouble. We'll lock the doors and no one's going to mess with anything. Would we have to stay at the hotel? Nope, you can stay if you don't want to. We encourage you to stay at the hotel because it's so much fun and that, that way you get the, the full effect and um, you know get to get away. But if you want to stay with your sister, you go right ahead. Um, do I need to make arrangements for dietary restrictions? Cindy's asking that. If, if you have some dietary restrictions, please let me know and I will try to make arrangements for you with the chef there. 
Um, let's see if I can catch up on some of these. Goodness, okay. Can I have two to a room is what Belinda says. Yes, you can have up to four to a room. Can we watch the presentation somewhere? Yes, so this will be on, the social um, escape will be on the So Michelle Retreat Facebook page and then I'll probably put it up on my YouTube channel too and I'll put all the links up there too so y'all can watch this again. And please share it with your friends, anybody that's interested in coming. And if they if they have any questions that we haven't answered here tonight, you can always email me. It's so Michelle at outlook.com and I'd be happy to, to put the link up for that or to put my email up too or you can call me I won't give my phone here but if you email me I'll give you my cell phone and you can call me and I'll talk to you then uh, let's see what else will the machines be locked up and secure of course they will I'm gonna have my personal stuff in there so of course I'm gonna make sure that yours is gonna be locked up too I promise you these these people are, are a class act at the hotel and they understand that we're all dealing with expensive machines Will there be pictures of the projects beforehand? As time grows near, Judy, we probably will post a few pictures. It probably won't be till about a month or two beforehand. Um, you know, we kind of like to keep it a surprise sometimes because that's kind of fun, you know, part of the anticipation. You know, you get there and, and you're like, oh, what do we make? So usually we do a reveal on, on Thursday night. But, you know, if you just have to know, then we might post some. Maybe something like it, maybe not exactly that we're going to make, but maybe not exactly uh, using the same um, fabric or something. So, um, if you've ever wanted to, to use a cutter, a cameo, when we talk about cutter, a silhouette cameo, or the scan and cut, the brother scan and cutter, even a cricket. So if you have one of those, you know, Lisa and Bonnie both are going to be teaching on those, not necessarily teaching in depth how to use them, okay, but they're going to show you their personal ones and what they do. If you came in late, Lisa is going to show you how to um, to use the, uh, maybe one of your favorite applique designs. She's going to show you how to use that and make it into um using it with a cutter, making it applique, and you can run it through your cutter. And then she's gonna show you easier ways of doing it with scissors, too. So, like I said, Lisa knows uh, more about that than uh, they're fabulous. Thank you, Gail, I appreciate that. We do have a good time. Gail's been to several of them, so we have a good time. But Lisa's gonna show you that. Bonnie's gonna show you how to work with the glitter flags, and, show, and uh, she'll teach you a cute project. Fabric prep, so it cuts like paper. There you go, Lisa. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see what else. Where there'll be prizes. Yes, we've got a th over a thousand dollars worth of door prizes. And then there's going to be lots of other prizes that the teachers will give away in their own personal classroom. Um, we will probably play some games too. Uh, last year we played uh, left, right, center, and that was a lot of fun. We played that with some, um, <laughs> we'll have to an uh, talk to uh, Nancy Cooley and, and Cindy Stein about that. They won last year, but we played with uh, fat quarters. And if you look on my website, you can see that they both have just got piles of fat quarters. They won, and, and that was so much fun. You play it with some dice, and it's just a lot of fun. I think we're going to play bingo Saturday night, so there'll be some prizes with that. We might even give a prize for the furthest uh, person who comes the furthest away. So uh, I had somebody register today from Canada. So we'll have to, yeah, that was fun when it, Cindy. So we'll have to try to um, see if somebody can beat Canada, you know? Let's see, who else? What else am I missing, guys? Help me out here. Come on, teachers. What am I missing? So you're gonna to wanna to register um, starting tomorrow at the uh, Crown Plaza. And if you've went ahead and sent in your, or you're gonna to want to make your hotel reservation, I'd say if you went ahead and sent in your registration to me, then I'm gonna email you and let you know. I think they were just having a little bit of trouble trying to get it all together. Uh, love that you're teaching a little about cutters. My silhouette is getting gathering dust. Yeah, that's really it. All of us are interested in that because, you know, a cutter just makes it easier for sewing and for applique and it makes everything look more professional and who doesn't love that, you know? Have a friend who doesn't have an embroidery machine. Could she rent one if they're available? Absolutely, Patty. We're going to work on that. I'll have an answer for you too soon. So just keep checking my sites. 
Is there an early bird sign up? There sure is, Bonnie. Thank you. Um, I'll tell you about that in just a minute, Judy, how you rotate to the classes. Yes, the early bird is going to be, um, it's $325. Uh, that's the early bird special, and that's good until February the 28th. It goes up to $375 after that. Um, so you need to, to register as quick as you can. And you can either do it through PayPal on my website, or you can, can email me your registration form, and I'll have to do that. For the projects, do we have to bring anything? Well, the only thing that you'll have to bring for your projects or for, for the classes that we teach is um, just your normal sewing notions. We may have to do, last year I had the thread sponsored and it was for a smaller group. I've been able to do that through Mettler each year. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to do that again. Mettler's been really good to me. Um, they're my thread uh, of choice for sure, but we're going to see if I can do that. If not, then we'll ask you to bring some embroidery thread and sewing thread, but that will be the only thing that you need and just some scissors. Just your normal sewing notions. And of course, all your feet. So Linda can teach you about your feet. Uh, do we pay all of the class fee up front and just reserve the room? That's what Brenda says. Belinda says, sorry. Yes, you definitely do. Um, you can pay for that up front. You want to make your reservation as quick as you can um, or make your registration as quick as you can to reserve your spot and then to reserve the, the room. Uh, you can start doing that tomorrow and I'll send out information on that or I'll post it when it's up. Is there a larger room space this year? Yes. How many attendees? Um, you know, we, we can take up to probably 60 attendees. So that, that's what we have room for this year is about 60. If we have a few more sign up than 60, um, we'll see what we can do to accommodate them, but it's definitely first come, first serve. So the teachers do rotate, not the students. You are not going to have to move that sewing machine. We're going to get you and your sewing nest all set up, and all we're going to do is, is the teachers are going to go from room to room and teach you from there, not the students. We're going to be the ones doing all the work. You're there to have a good time, and we're going to make sure you have a good time. Anybody that's been to my retreats in the past knows that I love to laugh and have a good time, and um, just, you know, I, I think it's just a way to get away and, and relax and it's just gonna be fun. It's, it's not anything uh, like any other retreat that you've ever been to. We have a really good time and, and it's just laid back. I'm all about having a good time. I'm about finishing your projects, about teaching you something. It's not gonna be hard sales. We are there to educate you. That's what this retreat's about. Uh, what else, ladies? Let's see. Uh, I don't know. What else am I missing? Any other questions? You guys are easy. We thought there'd be lots of questions here. I appreciate all the love. I don't, I don't do many of these. I don't usually have a whole lot to say, so I figure if I have to say anything, I usually just send you an email. But uh, this is a hoot of a time. Yes. Shopping options. What does that mean? What do you mean by that, Cindy? I don't, I don't know, understand the question. Help me out there. Can you just come and shop? Is that what you're asking? You know, we're probably not going to allow outsiders in just to come and shop. You know, we would just like to limit it. Well, we have things to purchase it. Yes, we'll definitely have things to purchase. Bonnie will bring her glitter flex, and gosh, she has got so much glitter flex. Every color you can imagine um, will be the classes in the day and the evening. I'm sure Lisa will bring some brilliant software if you want to purchase that. And then Linda McGee, he has got zippers and snaps and fabric and patterns. And gosh, I don't even know what all she's got, but she's got wonderful stuff to bring. I'll be bringing my screen. I'll be bringing my patterns. Um cancellation policy if already paid. Uh, there is a $50 cancellation policy, okay, because we're saving your spot. So if you cancel, then then yes, then you will be charged or you'll be refunded everything except for your 50 bucks. Each of the teachers will have booths. Yes, ma'am. Yes. You'll send out the schedule close um, I will be sending out the schedule I guess I don't understand that question, Lisa, but I will be sending out a schedule as it as it draws near, yes. 
there will be classes in the day. So the classes will start over again for those who uh, who haven't didn't hear. We'll have classes Thursday evening. We'll do the towel slot Thursday evening. We'll have light hors d'oeuvres Thursday evening. Um, then we'll probably play some games too. Then uh, Friday morning we'll have classes starting at 9, 9 to 12. We'll break for lunch. We'll have a class again. I think I put on the schedule from like 2 to 5. And then we'll break for dinner. Um, yeah, like weeks before. Yeah, we'll probably have the, the class schedule weeks before. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we'll have that posted. Will there be a class supply list posted? Well, there's not going to be a supply list, Vanessa, because I'm giving you everything. You know that. You were there last year. Did you have to bring anything? The only thing we ask that you bring is yourself, some comfy clothes, and your sewing notions. Maybe some thread. If we do have you bring some thread, then yes, ma'am, we'll, we'll definitely post that. And I'm working on that, too, trying to get some some uh, Mettler to sponsor it, so we'll see. Who's teaching the 5.30 a.m. class? Oh, you're funny. Okay. Nobody's teaching that 5.30 a.m. class. Michelle's still going to be snoozing at that 5.30. <laughs> we are going to play Chinese bingo. Yes, Belinda. We're definitely going to play that. Um, we're going to play that with the towel swap. Yes, ma'am. You're pretty funny. All right, ladies. Well, if you have any questions, any more questions, please email me. Um, so Michelle at Outlook.com. You can go to Bonnie's website. She's so inspired by Bonnie. You can ask her. You can ask Lisa. Lisa is Bubbles Menagerie. Um, I know, isn't she funny, Bonnie? Huh? I think we'll let Lisa teach the 530 class, right? Um, Linda is Geese Designs. Um, so any of us would be happy to help you, but we're going to have so much fun, ladies. We would love for you guys to join us. We're going to have a good time, and, and I know I keep saying that, but I can't stress enough how relaxing it is. Um, what it, what a um, relaxed atmosphere, how much fun you have just being around people that, um, oh, you're welcome, Char uh, Sherilyn. Just be around people that, that love to do the same thing that you do. Gail, there is not a theme for the towels this year. I just decided that to each his own, whatever you want to do. Come up with something cute. If you want to do a Christmas theme, if you want to do a um, uh, summer theme, fall theme, whatever you want to do, just a hand towel. And you put it in a concealed bag so nobody can see because you don't want anybody to know who's is who so we can all draw and, you know, we fight over the cutest ones. So it is a fabulous event. We all had a good time, didn't we, last year? It was a lot of fun. We were a little more cramped last year. There was 24 of us in a small, oh, about 700 square foot room, and, and it was a little cramped with all our machines, but this year we're gonna have lots of room and, and lots of fun, lots of food. So you come, you get there. I'm gonna take care of you and feed you good and teach you and have lots of fun um, while we're doing all that. We're gonna make lots of projects. We said probably about five, four for sure. I think Lisa's doing something with some vinyl and coming up with a cute project. So it, it's well worth the money, girls. You you can't go anywhere else and, and, and get anything like this. So it's a lot of fun. But anyways, if I can help anybody with anything else, please let me know. If you have any more questions, and please share this with your friends. If you are involved in a sewing guild or, or anything, please share this with everybody because we want everybody to have a chance to, to enjoy this too. Uh, Vanessa says it's really the best street to go to, the retreat to go to. We did have a great time and I can't wait. Thank you, Vanessa. Vanessa's coming from all the way from, I think it's Virginia where Vanessa comes from. I'm not, you'll have to correct me on that, but Vanessa came last year and, and her and her husband drove last year and he stayed and had a good time while she sewed. So, they got you beat this year, though, girly. They're coming from Canada this year. Yay. Anyhow, girls, I've, I, I appreciate you checking in with me, and please share this. I'll post it as soon as I figure out how to on, on uh, my Facebook page and then post it on Soma Show Retreat, too. So thank you very much. If I can help you any more, please let me know. Oh, Chicago but Buddy is staying home this year. Okay, sounds good. Well, you guys take care and have a great evening. It's almost Friday. Yahoo! Talk to you later. Bye-bye.